We are now to question number 54, which asks us to write the equation of the circle shown below. What is the equation of the circle shown below? Well, when we're given the graph of a circle, all we need to know to find the equation are two things. What is the vertex? Sorry, not what's the vertex, that's a parabola. What is the center of the circle? Where is the center of the circle? And what is the radius of the circle? Once we know those two things, we can go ahead and find our equation. Let's take a look at our circle. Where is the center at? Easiest way to do that is draw a horizontal and vertical line through the circle. And you're going to see that the exact center of that circle is right here. And on our graph, that is at negative 1, 0. We have negative 1 on the x-axis, 0 movement on the y-axis. So negative 1, 0. The radius, all we got to do is count either up, left, right, or down. We can see our radius is 2 units. So our radius is equal to 2. So now the question is, how do we write our equation? Remember that negative 1 is our h value and 0 is our k value. So we'll start our equation like this. Our equation is x. Remember we flip the sign for h. That's going to be x plus 1 squared plus y. Now this is 0. k is 0. So I can put plus 0 or minus 0. It makes no difference. 0 doesn't change the value in parentheses. Squared. Now the question is, what is this value going to be? Well, we know that in our equation for a circle, this is going to be r squared. So since our radius is 2, all we have to do is figure out what 2 squared is, which is equal to 4. And so our radius squared is 4. So our equation for this circle is x plus 1 squared plus y plus 0 squared equals 4. Now you may see this on your test written like this. x plus 1 squared plus y squared equals 4. Now take a look at these two class. They are equivalent equations. They are the same. Because adding 0 to y does not change the value of y. That means we could have just written this as parentheses y, parentheses squared. And once we do that, we can actually drop the parentheses since nothing is being done. It's just a variable y. So these two equations are equal to each other. They are equivalent to each other you may see either one of these um, answers in the answer key. Just make sure you recognize they are actually both the same equation. So there is our equation for our graphed circle.